up, it's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be talking about and blasting Gurgling Gore and Expansion Abyss Epitaph 1. This right here is five tracks of seriously some of the best death doom metal I've heard in a very long time. And pretty much imagine, all right, if you're a fan of Esoteric, not the hardcore band, the Funeral Doom band, first off, you're gonna fucking absolutely love, 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 love Epitaph 1. Trust me. But also, if you get Esoteric sound, and you added a dab of incantation. Funerous as well, I would say. Funerous is pretty much incantation. Swallowed. Yeah. Disembowelment via Inverlock. This is Transcendent into the Peripheral. This is just the Road Burn version. Limited to 200 copies. Some people ask me, like, is that a bootleg? Nah, this is like a screen printed version from Road Burn 2012. Add a little bit more Finnish Funeral Doom. Some more doomy stuff along the lines of Incoffination. And lastly, the Spectral Voice, Necrotic Doom, and I would also say A Road to Corridors, but I didn't grab that LP. This is Mag fucking Nificent. And I slept on it. I missed the original release, and if it wasn't for Big Daddy Gore, I would have no idea this existed. When I saw that it was a 2XLP, I was like, before even listening to it, at first I was just like, huh, this looks like one of those, are they called like gent bands that sound like Meshuga? Like, kind of progressive death metal. That's what I thought this was going to be based on the cover art. Like that was the first thing that popped in my head. So as soon as the first track kicked in, my expectations were exceeded in the right direction. I was like, whoa, that was badass. And then like a time ghoul part comes on out of nowhere with like kind of early blood incantation and even like current blood incantation where they'll do the you know the vocals like this and we i do them in a cursed womb as well but to me that's a tip of the hat to beharit and time ghoul but also blood incantation but what you get here legit is a lot closer to something like swallowed's lunatarial and just esoteric's entire catalog and when this goes into its more doomy elements holy shit i'm talking like dirges of elysium error incantation heavy it is fucking awesome and this almost went completely under my nose thanks to the united states postal service this was lost in the mail and missed my 2020. Oh my God. Every time I listen to this, I'm sorry. It puts a shit eating grin on my face. Just listen real fast.
Listen to it. Listen to how heavy this is. you want the vinyl go to expansion abyss before that bad boy sells out pretty sure it's thirty dollars which is an amazing price for a double lp that's an import so get on that shit if the cassette sold out or if the cd sold out or vinyls you're you know that's what you want to listen to this on go for it if i had the money this would be probably the second item I would purchase right now. I still need to buy None So Vile on vinyl. It's like one of those things that like legit haunts me at night. It's like, why do you not have your favorite album on like wax or cassette anymore? I used to just have an original Century Black version like a long time ago, but I don't know where the fuck it that I think I sold it or it got stolen. It was one of those it was in one of those three collections, but I had multiple versions of it. And even like uh nobody talks about None So Live. None So Live is a very interesting release by Cryptopsy, but Cryptopsy has nothing to do with Epitaph and how good one is. Because if Epitaph 2 is anywhere near as good as 1 is, I think I have one of my new favorite bands in the extreme metal scene. And I have to thank Gurgling Gore for introducing me to Epitaph. And I have to apologize to you maniacs for sleeping on this band. I legit had no idea something this gnarly existed underneath my nose. So I apologize for not doing my part to get you some of the best in underground music. So in case you missed it like I did, here's your chance to check out Epitaph and Epitaph 1. Like I said, Expansion Abyss has the double LP available stateside. Do not remember the CD distributor and I'm pretty sure Gurgling Gore's out of the um, cassette and I don't remember the European label that put this out but trust me this is worth your time this is worth your money and it's one of those records that doesn't come around so often where it's just so full of elements of bands that just I love to begin with and they take them and just do their own thing with it and the outcome is something unique, heavy as fuck and just amazing. And at the same time, as dreadful at times that it might make you like vibe it's like a light at the end of the tunnel at times it goes into like there's this one part that I swear it's like almost Mogwai-esque like it's just fucking check it out Epitaph 1 Gurgling Gore Expansion Abyss fuck yeah 
10 out of 10 A plus shit right here. Like the production is amazing. The songwriting, amazing. Everything about it is just great. Like, listen to that riff one more time. Listen. I don't want to spoil this. Check it out yourself. Epitaph 1. Thank you Gurgling Gore for making this video possible. And thank you Maniacs at Home for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, you fucking rule. <gasps>